okay i think this is the first time i'm speaking in this video so far um i went to the gym you saw i was being productive all through the earlier video um i woke up i had to check my email um look at my phone i've been trying to do this thing where i leave my phone in a far part of the house so like at night i could try to sleep better um and then I just use my iPad for like an alarm or whatever. But I check my emails, um, look at some things, eat breakfast, listen to my little podcast for motivation, went to the gym, came back to the from the gym. I ran to the store, you guys didn't see that. And then took a shower and washed my hair because it desperately needs to be washed. And uh, Thanksgiving's coming up and I was trying to decide if I wanted my hair straight or curly. Um, and I'm thinking straight. I'm gonna go with straight because I feel as though I'm damaging my hair. Granted, I'm cutting my hair maybe in like a month or two. Not anything drastic. I'm just getting it shaped. Um, so for now, I'm just trying to bring my curls back. Uh, right now, I am using, to wash my hair, I use Head & Shoulders just because I was trying to see this thing I saw on TikTok where like it helps clear up your face. I don't really think it's doing anything for me. Um, and then for conditioner, I use Cream of Nature Pure Cream of Nature Pure Honey Conditioner. And I used to use their Detangler back in like 2019, 2020, and it worked amazing. Like the whole line worked amazing, but it was always hard to find that brand, uh, or not that brand, that line in that brand. So I kind of stopped, and then I ventured off into other things. But it was in Walmart and I was like, let me try it again. Like maybe this is what I need because my hair has been very, very dry. Um, so like I said, I use their conditioner. I'm, I have their Not Away Leave-In uh, Detangler. Um, I have their Curl Activator. Their Twisting Cream. And uh, their Scalp Oil. So I'm going to try it out. I think I have to use the oil um I'm trying to remember like there's <coughs> there's like a natural hair step of things you're supposed to do things like the lock method leave-in oil cream I don't know but the oil is only going on my scalp I don't know I think I'm gonna use the detangler the oil I think I'm going to use the Detangler Curl Activator. Um, I think I'm going to use this more so when I'm styling my hair, like when I'm twisting it. Because right now I'm just washing it and letting it dry on its own. I don't think I'm even going to diffuse it. Um, so I think I'm going to use this like if I'm doing twist ups or something. So I'm not going to use that today. Uh, so maybe I'll do the Detangler Curl Activator and then oil. I don't really know what's going to I don't really know we're gonna see how this goes and my hair is in the shower cap because I was doing things and I didn't want my hair to fully dry out so we're gonna see I'm trying not to talk a lot in these videos because I feel like I'm just sitting here talking and then no one cares. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm supposed to go to Boston Friday. But granted, I don't know if we're still going to Boston. I was going with one of my friends, but I don't know. And then Saturday, I'm supposed to be going to New York with my cousin. Nothing interesting is really happening in life. I'm not really dating. Let me just cut my hair. I'm not really dating right now. Um, I have a friend that I hang out with, but 
I don't really consider us dating or anything. I feel like we're getting to know each other. Um, she's very busy with her job. And soon I'm getting busy with mine, but she's very busy with her job and she works nights. So when I'm up and, you know, needing attention, she sleep. And when she's up, I'm asleep. So that's the part that sucks with that, which sometimes makes me like, all right, I know for a fact, whenever I do start looking for someone, I want someone that, I want their time. <laughs> like I want you to call me randomly. I want you to, um, I want you to, just call and talk about how your day is going or like what happens at work or chat like communicate and I realized too even in like my past dating like this past year or two or whatever if you're not a good communicator it's gonna frustrate the hell out of me because I've had to learn to communicate because that was my downfall in my actual relationship I had two years ago so with us being almost 30 now um sometimes i date people that are older that are in their 30s but we're too old to not communicate i want like i don't want to feel like i'm ever questioning whether or not you like me i don't want to feel like i'm questioning whether or not i'm the only one you're talking to or like messing with or like feel as though time is being wasted I feel like I have wasted so much time with people who didn't deserve it and I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to more so be in that mind space of doubting myself and doubting how amazing I am and all of that. I don't know. I'm big on communicating. Like that's one of my new non-negotiables. Um, and also, I realize with communication, especially with me being a gay woman, that's very important out the gate because I need to know right away if you want to get to know me to be my friend or if you want to get to know me to date me, like to be with me. Um, because I have enough friends, I have enough friends. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have like a person that is really like deeply my friend that lives close but i have that in my kimberly granted she lives in missouri but i must be making money back to go visit her um and i will i think at this point in life i do want to be in a relationship i want to find a girlfriend or for whatever i want it to gravitate towards me i'm not actively out there looking but like if it happens if it gravitates towards me if it's working great um if not, let me be. Let me be. Don't send me mixed signals because I've had enough of that. Enough of that. So today is the next day. It's Thanksgiving. And yes, my hair is blow dried because even though I had that whole spiel yesterday about how um, I want my hair to be curly. I'm trying to get my curls back, yada, yada, yada. This morning, my hair was not giving what I was supposed to have give. Supposed to have gave. Wasn't, my hair wasn't giving, okay? So, I'm straightening it. And I feel like there's better chance of my hair surviving until Saturday with it straight anyway. So I blow dried it off camera because there's no point in recording that because um, it's loud and I am starving. I'm trying not to eat anything because I'm supposed to go to my grandfather's house, I think like around two, and then I'm going to my father's house after that and I'm going to my aunt's house after that. So there's no point in me like eating when I have three places to eat today. So yeah. All right, so in case anyone was wondering, I'm pretty sure no one was, 
Um, hold on. Get my bra out the shot. The freak. Um, excuse how my background's looking. I had a time last night. Um, in case anyone's wondering, my flat iron that I am using. I used to use a Chi, but then I feel, felt as though it wasn't getting the job done. So then I got this from Hot Tools, um, where I could like increase the temperature. Cause the Chi I had, you couldn't change the temperature. Um, it was just like set at one temp. And I feel like way back in the day when I like first used to use the Chi, my hair was like weaker and more damaged. So using something at a lower temp was fine, whatever. But now a girl is healthy, a girl is strong. We need to combat that. So I just use hot tools, honestly. Um, I forgot what inch this is. What is this? Two inches? One and a half? And then I just set this. It's already preset to 420. Do not come for me. It's my hair. My decisions. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. Um, so I'm just going to include it now. I'm about to go to actually now my dad's house and then my grandfather's house because my mom's not ready she wants me to go with her to my grandfather's house then i'm going to my aunt's house my aunt's house is gonna be the last stop because i am 28 and i am going to drink yeah okay so i am ready for thanksgiving my room looks even messier now i'm just wearing this bodysuit that you're not gonna be able to really see I don't want to show you my full hair, but it's just like a black bodysuit and this little, uh, what is this called? Like plaid jacket thing. This is very soft. This feels like the blanket I was telling you guys about in my other video that I got from um, somebody, but that blanket is now in my attic because out of sight, out of mind. But um, this jacket is so soft, so soft. So I'm gonna wear this. I'm not really sure how I feel about this bodysuit though because it's the TikTok bodysuit that I got off of Amazon and it slides down because a girl got thighs and butt and whatnot and it wasn't made for that. Like it's stretchy, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't made for that. So like the crotch area keeps messing up but i feel like this is cute i don't really have anything else i don't have any leggings i don't have anything cute i do have like a cute outfit but i wanted to wear it saturday um when i went to new york so or when i'm going to new york i swear i went to college um okay but over that, because you know it's November, it's cold, it's Connecticut, I'm gonna wear my red jacket. Should I wear this? See, now I'm like very uncertain. Because I could wear this. Because I'm thinking I can either wear this or I could wear Which is like a jacket in itself. Excuse my underarms. Right, cause this is like very casual, very cute. Very like, oh, I just threw this on. But also like my most recent Instagram picture. Isn't this exact outfit, but it's this jacket. But it's a jacket, so like. I feel like this is cute. I feel like I always wear this. I actually, it's not that I always wear this, but I wore this exact outfit on a breakfast date recently. It was really a breakfast date, but like it was out to breakfast. And this is kind of cute though. Like if it's not broke, don't fix it. But then you know how like if you have an Instagram picture, especially if it's recent, you feel like people see you as that last picture. And I feel like I'm walking like, hey. I don't have no clothes. Okay, 
day it is currently saturday i forgot to record all of yesterday but um i forgot something in my car but that's fine i had fun with my friend deasia um her birthday is sunday so we were just running around doing stuff or whatever um now i'm going to new york hang out with some of my friends from college we try to meet up like once a month um what am i looking for we try to meet up once a month and we're gonna go like i think it's like called lip lab we're gonna do that and then go get food and drinks and stuff like that um so i'm gonna try to record as much as i can i kind of wish i recorded yesterday because yesterday was really fun but i mean whatever I had to grab some masks you know new york I'm trying to like be very inconspicuous with filming because there's a lot of people at the train station right now but this is what i'm wearing i feel like i'm on a plaid theme this week but this is what i'm wearing it's not that cold today so okay let me get everything so um okay so you guys know what shades are going for today um i want like a a nudie brown type thing yeah the vanilla scent. And then we got the shoes, a container, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Okay, so we're going to the Yeah, I 
feel like if it was darker. Yeah. But it's not bad though. But I feel like a brown will look good on you. Because you're like darker. Yeah. Like a brown? Yeah. Do you want to switch over to a brown or do you still want to stick with the red? I'm, I think I'm stick with the red. Jasmine, have you ever had purple? No. But like a maroon purple with the purple. Oh, yeah. Too. Like, not like that, but like. Like a like reddish a, purple? Yeah. Mm -hmm.